Hi, welcome to the Real Crike Trainer. Our goal was to simulate the most realistic experience in cricothyrotomy. We've incorporated real skin and tissue, bleeding, and even a flash of air when you pass through the cricothyroid membrane. The best part of this simulator is that it's inexpensive and easy to replicate at your institution. By using pork belly with skin attached, it has a realistic feel, just like human flesh. If the pork belly is thick enough, you will not be able to palpate your landmarks, and you'll actually have to make a vertical incision in order to feel the cricothyroid membrane. As you can see, once you cut through the skin with a scalpel, bleeding starts to occur. Once the scalpel cuts through the cricothyroid membrane, You'll feel a rush of air that splatters blood in a very realistic fashion. The participant can then pass a bougie and an ET tube over the bougie. I want to acknowledge Dr. Laura Duggan, an anesthesiologist out of British Columbia, for all of her work on surgical airways. Dr. Duggan has her own website called the Airway App, and on this website, she has made available a free 3D crike trainer. You can download an STL file and actually print one of these tracheas on a 3D printer and use them um, for a cricothyrotomy. And really, this model has served as the basis for this trainer that uh, we're showing you today. Detailed instructions for creating the real crike trainer can be found later on in this video. But briefly, we take one of these plastic uh, trachea models, overlay it with pork belly, and then we attach both an ambu bag with an ET tube and also dyed normal saline to create the blood and air effects. While most commercial mannequin models will cost you in excess of thousands of dollars, uh, this trainer can be made for approximately 50 to 60 US dollars. I want to show you one more video here of the real Crike trainer in action. Uh, here was an emergency medicine physician that we cornered in the hallway and asked him if he wanted to perform a realistic crike. He had no idea how realistic this trainer was. You can see that all of the blood is actually causing the participant to perform the cricothyrotomy with a greater sense of urgency than you would expect to see in other static cricothyrotomy models. It was the exact emotional stress response that we wanted this simulator to elicit in our participants. The crike membrane is like the exact thing. Uh, I mean, that feels r very realistic. That's crazy. The tissue is like exactly the same. So here are the supplies you're going to need to build your own real crike trainer. It's uh, pretty straightforward. First thing you want to buy a medium-sized storage box that's got a pretty shallow depth to it. Um, you can buy a mannequin head. I found this one online for $14. The mannequin head just makes the simulator look that much more realistic. Next, you want to download the free STL file that Dr. Duggan put online. I then took that STL file and printed it on a 3D printer, and it cost me about $35. Um, you're going to need an ambu bag, an 8 endotracheal tube. You're going to need a liter bag of normal saline. Um, some red food coloring dye, as well as a 10 cc syringe and an 18 gauge needle to drop uh, the dye and inject it into the normal saline bag. You're going to need some 3M microfoam tape. You can use some Velcro strips that will be optional and also a piece of Tegaderm or Saran Wrap and I actually find that the Saran Wrap works a little bit better. And lastly, you're going to need a piece of pork belly that's not shown here. 
um, you can go to your local market or local Asian market and purchase a 15 by 15 centimeter piece of uh, pork belly that is approximately two to three centimeters thick. Um, it's really important to make sure that that pork belly still has the skin on it. Um, that really makes for a realistic feel and texture. So the great thing about that plastic storage container is that you're going to be able to store all of your equipment when you're not using the simulator, um, but you're actually going to be using the lid to help collect all of the fluid. So the first step is taking your 3D printed trachea model and taking your 8O endotracheal tube and inserting it in the superior aspect of the trachea. You can then attach the 8O endotracheal tube to an ambu bag. The trick here is to make sure that the tip of your ET tube is not um, visible through the cricothyroid membrane on the other side. One way you can also help with this is actually just cut the tip of the endotracheal tube so that the end is flat, uh, removing the bevel. Next, you're going to take your tegaderm or your saran wrap, which I actually prefer, and wrap it around the inferior portion of the trach model. And you want to tape that down. So what the saran wrap does here is that it occludes airflow from the ambu bag and the ET tube from going straight down the trachea and instead redirects all of the air through the cricothyroid membrane. But you want a material that is thin enough so that when you're placing your bougie um, through the cricothyroid membrane, it pierces through the saran wrap relatively easy um, as you're performing your cricothyrotomy. So next you're going to place your mannequin head and trachea on the underside of the storage lid in this fashion. Um, you can velcro your mannequin head down to the lid. You're then going to tape down your trachea with the 3M microfoam tape. That's going to secure the trachea to the lid so it doesn't move around, but also acts as the cricothyroid membrane. You're going to take your 10cc syringe and your 18 gauge needle and draw up about 20 to 30 milliliters of the red food coloring dye and inject it directly into a bag of normal saline. This will be your blood. Uh, the darker it is, the more realistic it appears. Next, drop about 10 to 20 milliliters of uh, your fake blood and you want to inject it just subcutaneously in your pork belly. You're going to create a really nice wheel superficially just underneath the skin. Um, you're going to want to place it right in the center portion of the pork belly so that when the scalpel actually penetrates through the skin, you're going to get some of that blood leaking through. You're then going to take your IV tubing that's connected to the bag of normal saline that contains your fake blood. And you're going to take that tip of that IV tubing and measure it so that it moves about halfway up the piece of pork belly. Next, you're going to take your scalpel and create a long incision through the pork belly halfway up, measuring about the same length uh, that you just measured your IV tubing. Um, in this picture, you can see that the scalpel is kind of in the center portion of the pork belly. What I actually would recommend is that you make the long tract right underneath the skin. The closer you are to the surface, the more fluid is going to be coming out uh, when you're performing your cricothyrotomy. You're then going to insert that IV tubing in that tract that you made in the pork belly. You can tape it down if you wish. And this is the basic setup with the ambu bag and the fake blood uh, connected to the mannequin head and the trachea and pork belly. Now that everything is set up, uh, you can actually put some blue sterile drapes um, around your mannequin to make it a little bit more realistic. Lastly, you will need one instructor to control the mannequin while the participant is performing the cricothyrotomy. This instructor can control the amount of bleeding by simply squeezing on the IV bag with fake blood as much or as little as they like. Also, as the participant is cutting through the cricothyroid membrane, the instructor can squeeze the ambu bag to control how much air is being forced through the cricothyroid membrane and how much blood they would like splattered. One of the nicest things about this simulator is the cleanup. Everything is plastic, so you can just take it to a sink, rinse everything off, throw away your piece of pork belly, apply a new one, and reset it up for the next participant. So initially, Dr. Duggan uh, created that 
3D printed trach model so that you could actually wear it um, over a Kevlar neck piece on a live human being, kind of uh, like a poor man's military cut suit. So if you wanted to do that, you could actually put this whole simulator model over a Kevlar neck piece on a live human being and it would be extremely realistic with all of the blood. However, I have to say that if you are going to try and use this technique, it can be extremely dangerous um, using sharp objects and scalpels near someone's neck. So if you are going to participate in a simulation um, like that, you're going to have to do it at your own risk. So now you're all ready to go. All you need now is all your equipment for your cricothyrotomy, which uh, includes your 6-0 endotracheal tube, a bougie, your scalpel, you can use a trach hook, that's optional, but I would recommend uh, using protective gear, so a face mask and also a gown. And here's one last look at the real Crike Trainer in action. So I hope this video has been helpful so that you too can experience the real Crike Trainer firsthand.